Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Boy Game Geek Spiel 17. I'm sitting down with Stefan Rudhafsa and Schwen Jamrich. <laughs> and you guys are self-published. Congratulations. Thank you. We're really excited. So you are um, Stefan Spiel? Yes, <laughs> I'm the, the author and the publisher You're of Stefan Spiel. Right? Yes. Um, but you guys have brought a series of four games which we're going to go through all four. So we'll start yes. with one, but with why don't you mind. just talk a little bit about the fact that this is sort of a, 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 a more than just this one little box. Yeah, it was the idea to open a series of four little games, which will be larger next year. And the kind of mixture, what can you take away to party, to restaurant, on the journey, wherever you want. And you take it in the pocket and you have a mixture of strategy games for two persons and more persons, more bluff game or fun games. And this in a whole series. Alright, so the first one we're going to look at is Nonaga. There's Nonaga. Alright, what are we trying to do in Nonaga? Nonaga is a two-player strategy game. This is the setup. You have a very little game field and each player has three tokens. And the aim of the game is to bring these three tokens in contact. That means if, you, if it's your turn, you just move one token as far as it's possible. You cannot stop here. You must go here. And then after the move, you choose one of these discs and replace it wherever you want. This is one move. You want to make a second move? All right, yeah. Okay. I, love it. I love it when I get to play. Yeah. And then we'll slide that over here. Okay. Now I go here and go, for example, here. Well, I don't want you to hook up your three, so yes. we're going to block you there. But what you did not know is that I can win also oh. like this <laughs> in contact. Because the contact can have this size or it can be in a line like this. This is also a win and this is a win. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. There you go. And yeah. it fits in a wonderful small box. Yeah. Now here's the fun thing about you guys setting this all up at once. We're just going to spin this around and pull up number two, which is 27. 27. Yeah, the name of 27 is regarding the number of discs which is in the game. You have for each player nine discs, which is on the starting token. And there is a path of nine this long. And the aim of the game is to go forward to the other side and have at the end of the game the most highest stack possible. Okay? Okay. Very simple and pure idea. But you move always regarding the number of your towers. That means in the beginning, obviously, each player must make a move of one step. So this one step can be you take the whole stack and move it one forward or you take only a part of the stack. That's it. Now he comes from the other side. Okay. Now I must make a move of two steps. I make for example this. One, two. Okay. I must make three, <laughs> so I go one, two, three. This is intense to watch. It's intense to sit here and watch you play this. <laughs> I, I try to attack the last place, but he step on me, on and that means in this case when he make this move, he covers me, and I only can make a step of three. He instead he can make four. four. Yeah? So I go for example one, two, three. I go here. And do you have to move the full amount? I have to move. I have to move the full amount. <laughs> There's some counting going on over yeah, here. Going on. Now, so he's grabbing oh, your. He has, oh yeah, five. Your, yeah, he's grabbing mine. And he's yeah. grabbing your pawn, he's so grabbing, he's pulling you so, backwards. Yeah, he's pulling me backwards, and I this I have lost. But I can try to come over, but I'm not sure if I will be able to. So he got. You hit. start here. I started here. Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Three. Uh, three. Yes, I have to go here. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So he would win because he got one pawn to yeah. the end, and you got zero. Yeah, no, but no, the we're still playing. Oh, still so playing. Okay. nobody can move. Uh, uh, so nobody nobody can move. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm playing so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the 
difficulty in but splitting up your I stack, have, but then... I have now two. And because I have two, I can go here. One, one two. two. Oh, sorry. So this is mine already, but we don't know what happens here. <laughs> he has to make a movement of three. Don't think too much, you have to <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> He will get this one on the last step. And I have you know, uh, three, I come here. I can see you. We're starting to run out yeah. of moves. You're going to move your last one in. Yes. Now, you, you were supposed to move three. You only had two left, so is that okay? No, I was there. So oh, was there. Yeah. Had three, two. one, That's two, three, and then I have left two. That's two. So I have two. So it's a complicated game. But All you right. see, it's, he wins because his highest tower is like this. It must not be end like this. Sometimes you have lots of tokens only here, and the, the game is stuck. already at the end. Yes. But this is now the end so, of this game. So that's the long, the long version, so to say. <laughs> All right, we're going to spin this around. Now we have Wurfel Blitz. Wurfel Blitz, yeah. So for them who don't speak German, that would be Dice. Uh, die is flesh. Yeah, die, die, there we go. Uh, <laughs> you have to make countings quickly as possible. So we play it all three. Okay? All right, let's do it. So these are only tokens for uh, you oh. get when you have the right uh, answer. You have these dice. There are dice which are colored dice with one uh, dot, and you have pure dot, colored dots with dots. So you throw all these dice. And then you have to count together, but you only count together those guys which are not the same time visible as colored dot. Oh, so in this so case, red three. This is not counted. This is not counted. And the blue is not counted. This is not counted. So the right answer would be fourteen. Fourteen. And the first one who says fourteen, he gets a, a white chip. <laughs> if you say that something is wrong, you lose a white chip. Huh. If you have three white chips, you have a black one, then this is safe. Okay. okay. Oh. So we try. All right, let's do this. Mm. Eleven. Eleven. Yes. That's it. Eleven. 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 <laughs> Eleven. Okay, you're right. <laughs> you throw to that. All right, here we go. We'll do three three rolls to give people a, an idea. Oh. Oh Lord. No, it's only six. No. Yes, six. You're right. Is it? Yeah, red is blue. Right. Green is blue. Oh, yellow. It's yellow. Yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. That's not blue. That's blue. So ah, it? that's blue. That's yeah. blue. Yeah, 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 it's blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's four. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's not it's just here to host. Yeah. <laughs> She's paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one more roll. <laughs> Two. Two. Yeah. Two. 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 <laughs> two. Okay. And there we go. That's so. it. <laughs> and so how, what would trigger the end of the game? Who wins? Uh, who has the, the first player has three black tokens. Got it. So, so it. Nine, nine, nine wins. Nine right wins without fault. Yeah. Right. Okay. And our last one in your small box series is Puck. Puck. Puck is the. Uh, oh, I forgot the authors also of the game. This is not nice. I will say it at the end. Okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll pull up all the boxes yeah, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Clock is a kind of bluff game, a poker game with dice. It starts like everyone gets those uh, equipment, two blue circles, two red triangles, and two green squares. You take your... All right. Two, two, two. <coughs> uh, and this is what we hide under the table or on our... Ooh, uh, got it. Okay, now we, we roll the dice. We have everything. So, and whatever we see on the dice is what we have to bring together when we show each one of us one token, so we choose one token and open our hands afterwards. And the result together must give one, of, one or more objects of these dice. So, 
let's say we all show a green square. So we would win all and get rid of our green squares. Yeah? Okay. Okay. And if one player shows a red triangle, he also gets rid of it. Okay? But we will see what we okay. do. Okay. Alright, let's vote. <laughs> uh, no one wins. <laughs> wah, wah. You roll the dice. No one could possibly choose a red triangle. Is it possible to put nothing in your hand? No, you right, always must put, put one. And what to say? Uh, the right answer would be either one blue circle or two blue circles. They are not counted together. So okay. if you all show now a blue circle, we will not win. <laughs> but uh, uh, will you take the rule that if, no, if there's no right thing inside, if one plays a red token, yeah. he will win. If the other ones lose, the one who isn't shown okay. in the dice. Right. Okay. Let's right, do it. Okay. Okay, we win. We, get we win, so we get rid of ours. Yes. Yeah. You roll the dice? Oh. All right, we'll do, we'll do one more. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Once more. Hey, we all red triangles no. in the beginning. I know, you guys are going to yell, who can add on me? Okay. Yeah, we all win. <laughs> the first player who has only one left wins the game. There you go. Well, now That's let's, it. let's since we're going to yeah. do a little quick review of all of your boxes here, and why don't you mention the authors? Yes. <laughs> because they're very good uh, authors, all of them. Nonaga is from Victor Bautista y Roca, a Catalan Spanish, a Catalan author. And uh, Poc is from Caspalab, the author of Magic Maze, you may know. Yes. Yeah. 27 is from Laurent Escoffier. And Gürtelwitz is from Stefan Bendorf, the dice specialist in German dice games. Well, I mean, you literally have everything. We played them all. So that's everything you need to know from Stefan Spiele and thank Stefan you. and Sven. Thank you so much for letting us literally play them on camera, not just taking a quick look. And it's, uh, a, it's the advantage of this short rules right? and short books, less material, you can quick play. Little box, put it in your pocket, have a good time. So I can honestly say that I really enjoyed that, thank having you. gotten to play this here right at this thank moment. You. So thank you both for letting us take a look. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much.